Hey everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack and today is a minifigure collection from Star Wars. This is every single Lando Calrissian minifigure ever made. This is one of the most beloved characters within the original trilogy of the Star Wars franchise and I certainly wouldn't mind seeing him pop up again in maybe Star Wars Episode 8. Only time will tell. Anyways, let's jump right into the collection review. This is the very first guy and this Lando Calrissian from 2003 came from the infamous or the, the very famous collectible Lego Star Star Wars set the Cloud City set 10123. This is probably one of the most collectible Lego sets around, easily in the top 10 highest, I'm sure. And just about every fig that came out in this set is extremely expensive, with Lando being no exception. The cheapest I could find anybody currently selling this minifigure is $140, which is pretty nuts to say the least, but that actually doesn't make him the most expensive fig from this set. Anyways, the uh, things that make him unique are the prints for his body. There is only printing on the front of the torso as well as the print for his expression is also unique just to this Lando. But what really makes this guy unique I think is the uh, shape for the cape. You can see the inside of the cape is yellow while the outside matches the uh, tone of his shirt. And from what I can tell it looks like Lego took two separate colored cape pieces and then stuck them together with some kind of adhesive. Lego has never done this before and they haven't done it since. So this is an extremely rare piece to get and usually when you see vendors trying to sell this guy online, they don't sell him with the cape because that is the uh, the harder thing to keep properly intact. Anyways, it is an excellent minifigure, and he's certainly one of the more difficult guys to get if you're trying to complete a collection. Three years later in 2006, the second Lando Calrissian is from when we see him in Return of the Jedi, so he is um, disguised as that uh, skiff guard. This minifigure appeared in the set Jabba's Sail Barge, and the printing on his face is technically the same, though the plastic brown is a, a different kind of plastic. It's been slightly updated. And what makes this guy truly unique is the print on the front of the torso. It's relatively simple, but you can see some armor detailing as well as some um, fur or cloth detailing underneath that. And also the mold for the helmet is completely unique unto this guy. At least this mold the way it is produced right now. Because this was a pretty sought after set as well, and this guy is just unique to that set, he comes out at at least 18 dollars if you want to get him brand new and then another three years later we get Lando again this time he's back in his Cloud City uniform he was released in the set home 17754 and though the detailing on the body is actually very very nice certainly a better update compared to what we got from 2003 the cape has taken a back seat it's only a single blue piece and it's also quite a bit lighter than the uh, blue that we got from before which isn't quite as accurate I'm sure it was a lot cheaper to produce and that's probably why Lego went with this option, but there were actually lots of little things that happened in the original Cloud City set from 2003 that LEGO just doesn't do quite the same way anymore. Anyways, back to this Lando. The cape is also relatively uh, uncommon, coming in sand blue, and to get this guy in new condition right now, he goes for 25 bucks. Now we're jumping forward yet another 12 years when the next Lando was released in 2012. He uh, came out in the set Desert Skiff 9496, and this disguised Lando figure is demonic demonstratively better than the original. The mold for the helmet remains the same, though we can see it now comes in brown and it has a lot of nice printing and detailing all over it. And then the print for the chest is also worked out a lot nicer. This printing goes onto the back, which is nice. It's the first Lando with any printing onto the back of the minifig. And the face has also been updated. He basically just has pupils now, but they kept it pretty darn close to what the original print looked like. Now his set isn't that big and it is still not that hard to get, so his collectability is not nearly as high as the previous guy. He sells for around $4.50, and then we didn't get any Landos for five years, and well, actually, uh, pretty darn recently, up in 2017, this was a Lando Calrissian minifig released with the A-Wing Starfighter set. Seems kind of like a random inclusion. I'm not complaining, it was nice to get him updated in the set. It just feels like this is also a message that they might not be redoing a big Cloud City set anytime soon. The detailing for the torso is excellent. It's very, very clean, very, very accurate. They even bothered to go onto the back and show a belt and uh, just a little bit more cloth printing there. Lando has two excellent expressions and the hair piece is updated and looks a lot, lot better. His cape is now a soft cloth sand blue, which looks and feels better than the rest of them. Though, well, maybe not the Cloud City cape. I still think that one looks a little bit nicer. And though this A-Wing set is still pretty new, it wasn't really that cheap and perhaps prices will settle down a year from now or something. But the Lando fig is actually selling for around $18 as well. And with that, that is the entire collection 
collection, all five Lando Calrissian minifigures. It's a relatively pricey collection, but I guess that's gonna be the case when all of these different figs are all exclusive releases. These guys only ever came out in one single set each. If we were to get another Lando minifig in the future, I mean, if he ever makes an appearance in Star Wars Episode Eight, then yeah, of course I'd love a fig from that movie. Or it might also be nice to get Lando in the Han Solo outfit, like at the end of uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can always hit a like button or subscribe. And uh, all right, we're done. So uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Oh, my God.